So, welcome today. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to drill holes in uh, FreeCAD with Gerbil. Uh, because Gerbil has a problem where it doesn't understand uh, drilling G-codes. So let us start off here. We just uh, create a sketch where we can then later drill holes into. Uh, just a normal square, just uh, making it a little bigger. Easy as that. So now we can select the face, make another sketch, and place our holes. Uh, we will place an array of holes. We start with one, and then we use the array tool to make more of them. Because why drill one hole when you can drill multiple holes? And yeah, so there we have our holes. after a little, a little bit of fiddling around. They are not really centered, so I push them to the center. Now we're gonna make holes from the sketch. Basically none. So now comes the interesting part because we have to switch to the path workbench. But at first, uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit transparent so we can see better where the holes go. Like this. So now we're gonna switch to the path workbench and we're gonna add another uh, path or another yes another job and now we have to be uh, careful because we have to select girl and at th this is the most important step we have to put a line here it's called translate drill and this will translate the drilling g-code command to commands that gerbil can actually understand because gerbil doesn't uh, understand uh, a few of the drilling commands so we have to translate them in, in post so now we select our boundary box select our tools we remove the default uh, at first we add another tool like a drilling tool in this case and then we remove the default tool because we don't need it. Then now we add our speed that we want uh, the drill to go. Uh, add our spindle speed. And that's basically it. The other things we don't need to fill in. So now we have our drop. First thing we're gonna do is uh, change the diameter of the drill because my drill is uh, 3.1 millimeters diameter, not 5. Ah, no, in this case I'm using a 0 0.8 millimeter drill, so I'm gonna change that to that. So now is our drill the right size? Now we have to select the holes. It actually doesn't matter if you select the rim or the inside uh, of the holes. And when you commence a drilling only uh, operation, you don't even have to select the holes. FreeCAD will select the holes itself. But better be sure selecting the holes, checking if they are all done. Now we have to, uh, we, we can add a start position, but we don't have to. Now we have to select our depth. We want to drill uh, from start depth uh, 0 to minus 4 millimeter. Now we select our safe heights uh, for moving around. And in my case, to make the whole thing a little bit quicker, we're going to use 1 millimeter. And yeah, here we can choose pack, but we won't use this now. We will use pack later. So, this is our tool path now. And yeah, 
that should should work. We can simulate the whole thing, but don't expect too much from a drilling simulation because it's not a lot of G-code steps, so it doesn't look very very smooth when simulating this. So that worked. Now it's time to export the G-code. And here comes another very important step. You have to remove the G99 because uh, the pros processor doesn't remove the G99, but Gerbil don't understand G99. So now here you can see uh, a few of the uh, of the holes I'm, I'm, I'm drilling. It was a 3x3 array and everything worked quite well. Now we want to do the same thing but with hacking. Hacking is important when your drill is very small and you drill hard materials and you have to extract uh, the material from drilling so your drill doesn't break off and it will just pack away at the material and uh, just select hack and add in the retract and the depth value. Now we're done. Confirm. Now we remove the G99 again. That's important because else it won't work. And now you can see uh, it's uh, packing away at the material. This takes a little bit longer, but for harder materials, uh, you should really use this version. You, you can see it already takes longer for the 3x3, but if we wouldn't drill wood, but drilling metal, uh, this would be the preferred way to do it. Or even if you have very small drills, I have a video where I'm using a 0.1 millimeter drill and I'm seeing uh, so we're gonna uh, use that as well. For using a very tiny drill you have to make the whole thing a little bit slower so your drill doesn't break off so we use uh, 0 0.1 millimeter per second that's quite slow but since our drill is also very small this will be fine. Now again we, we use the holes. Uh, I changed the diameter of the holes to be a little bit smaller, 0.1. Then we select our start depth, our final depth. I think at this point you should already know how the whole thing goes. Uh, for the start depth, in this case, I'm using 0.5 millimeter. So we start to pack a little bit above the actual material. We also reduce those heights and we select pack because uh, with such a small drill packing is really important so it doesn't break off because a 0.1 millimeter drill is basically the size of a human hair and <laughs> maybe a little bit thicker but if you just look at it hard enough it will break off so be very careful with those tiny drills. Uh, the depth can be calculated by taking the diameter of the drill and multiplying it with 0 0.75. In my case, this will be 0 0.075 millimeters depth, depth for packing. Sometimes a free cat has this thing where it doesn't uh, really show you the new parameters until you select them again. So, and we see we made some errors because our drilling paths are above the material, not into the material. So um, we forgot a minus at uh, some place. Yeah, right there. <laughs> we want to drill to minus three, not to three. So we add a minus and we should be good to go.
Yes, that looks much better. Now we gonna save and simulate and we see something's not right. We have a way too big drill. So we have to change the diameter of our drill again. Because our drill is still at five millimeters. I mean, five millimeters is a quite normal drill, but compared to a 0.1 millimeter drill, it's really big. Now we can test it with our simulation. And we see it works. It doesn't look very nice in the simulation because the simulation of drilling isn't very good in FreeCAD, but it shows us that it should work. So now we can export the whole thing again and as usual remove the G99. Yeah, and now we're gonna see the whole thing drilling. And you see the packing motion starts even above the material and start slowly starts going into the material. That's how it should work. Uh, again, we're drilling a three by three pattern, but since the drill is so small, uh, it's not easy to see that we actually drill nine holes because the holes are so near next to each other and I'm already using the maximum of magnification my camera and my USB microscope has and it's still hard to see. Also I switched off the uh, pressured air, uh, pressurized air that blows the stuff away because uh, blowing pressurized air onto the, <laughs> onto the drill can already uh, snap the drill off. So uh, that's why you can't see the other holes because we have all those uh, material that's getting drilled out, blocking our view of the actual, of the actual holes. But uh, I will show you a picture of the holes at the end. I, I hope uh, you can see them, but let's just uh, be sure that there are uh, nine holes, even if you can't really see them because it's so small. I maybe need a better microscope to show you this, or you can check out one of my other videos where I drill uh, acrylic glass with this tiny drill or a rice corn. There you can see it better. Here. There you should see it. Those are uh, a 3x3 hole array in 0.1 millimeter. But since my USB cam is quite bad, you don't really see it. So that was it for today. I guess see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, that's actually the first tutorial I ever made. And um, maybe I do another one if you want to have more of that. Maybe not. Let me uh, know in the comments. See you later.